everybody, it's Disney Queen Scally. I am so sorry I didn't get a video out to you guys yesterday. Um, it was my brother's birthday, and it was my intention to film before I left. <clears throat> Excuse me. But unfortunately, I, um, I just didn't, uh, time myself properly. Because I was also doing laundry and, you know, just trying to do everything at once in, like, a few hours. So I just didn't get a chance to film. So, I'm hitting you guys with a double feature, um, that way we're all caught up. Now, um, I'm, I did promise you guys today Babies in the Woods fun facts. I could not find anything, unfortunately. But, go ahead and watch it on Disney Plus, because, uh, it is, you know, it's, it's there. And if you guys still want to watch it and know about it, you know, go ahead and watch it. Um, I have yet to, to actually see it for myself, so I might after this video. So instead, um, I'm actually going to be reading some fun facts about the Disneyland Railroad. Um, as I said, if I can't find anything on a movie, I might as well just find facts on an attraction. Um, so we're going to start with uh, Santa's Workshop, which is what I would have done yesterday. So here you go. These are, uh, what was it, I think three? Yeah, three fun facts on the movie Santa's Workshop. Uh, Hidden Mickey. A Mickey Mouse doll can be seen peeking out of the bag of toys as Santa Claus is saying goodbye. Besides the follow-up film, there, um, there also was a follow-up book. Walt Disney's Santa's Toy Shop, published in 1950 by Little Golden Books, uses the characters as drowned in the 1932 film in a different story. And those are just three fun facts about the movie Santa's Toys. Or Santa's workshop. <laughs> All right, and next is going to be five fun facts on the Disneyland Railroad. Now, um, the website I got these on, they're a little longer, so you know this I guess could just kind of fill up some time. A railroad of some kind was always going to be part of Disneyland, from as far back as the plan for a Mickey Mouse park across the street from the Burbank Studio. A train has been in the concept art. Walt even said he wanted Disneyland to look like nothing else in the world, and it should be surrounded by a train. In fact, the connection between Disneyland and trains go back even before the idea of a theme park. Originally, Walt conceived the idea of Disneylandia, 24 miniature scenes in, of life in an old west town. It was to travel around the country by train, 21 cars holding the dioramas so people, especially school children, could see it without having to travel very far. One of the scenes, Granny Kincaid's cabin from the movie So Dear to My Heart, is currently on display in the One Man's Dream attraction at Walt Disney World. The primeval world section of the Grand Canyon diorama is the only export from the 1964 to 1965 New York World's Fair not used in the original capacity or attraction. It was originally used in Ford's Magic Sub Skyway attraction. This ride was basically a prototype of what became the People Mover ride system, but with motorless Ford convertibles as ride vehicles taking riders through the past, present, and future. After the fair was over, the dinosaurs and their scenes made their way to Disneyland to take up residence along the Disneyland Railroad. Speaking of the dioramas, there are two interesting hidden items, one official and one not. In the Grand Canyon scene, there is a hidden armadillo, it is very close to the glass and hard to see. There's also a hidden Yoda in the primeval scene at the base of the waterfall. This one isn't official, like not, officially acknowledged, but according to the firemen and brokemen, it is definitely intentional. These are real steam trains. Because of this, the train crew actually does have to do what a regular crew would to operate the train. There are a set of sensors that monitor the boiler water level above the brakemen. If the boiler has too much water, it may not be able to heat sufficiently to generate steam. If it has too little once it reaches a certain temperature, the te water will all flash evaporate at once and the boiler will explode. That's why the Disneyland Railroad crew constantly monitors the water level and makes sure that they are always generating with plenty of water in the boiler. And that is your double feature of the Disneyland Railroad Fun Facts and Santa's Workshop Fun Facts. I will see you all tomorrow with, uh, let's see, what did I have planned? I believe it was, yes, Silly Symphony, Flowers, and Trees. Hopefully I can find some fun facts on that. Again, if not, I'll just replace it with a uh, an attraction fun fact. So attraction doesn't always necessarily mean ride. It could mean um, like a show they do or like um, <clears throat> just 
something fun that they have inside the park. So be on the lookout for that tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys understand why I couldn't record yesterday. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye, my little skeletons.